Hi friends! Today is going to be a scavenger hunt of sorts. So today what we're going to do is we are going to look at the books that I read this year to see if I completed the Buzzwordathon challenges. Kayla at Books and Lala does a Buzzwordathon challenge. Uh, it used to be like a readathon, and now it's more of like a monthly challenge where there's a book title, like a word of a book title that you're supposed to get every month. And I 100% intended to do that this year, but immediately forgot <laughs> that I was supposed to be doing that every month. There are some months that I talked about it and was like, yeah, I'm going to read this book for this thing. And then it would never happen. And so what I wanted to do today is go through the books that I read this year and not necessarily in the month that they're supposed to be in, but go through the books I read this year and see how many of the challenges I actually got to without trying. And to me, that is super interesting in the fact that, um, you know, they're buzzwords because they're used in titles a lot. So naturally a lot of books would have these titles in them. So I'm curious to see without even trying how many I was able to get. So essentially what we're gonna do is we are going to hit the screen share button. Ta-da, here we are. Um, I'm gonna go to this one instead. And what we will be doing is I'm going to pull up the words and then uh, on my other screen. So if you see me looking over here, it's cause I'm looking at my other screen, okay? Uh, we're gonna go through this and see what words we can find. So in January, the word was dream. So we're looking for dream in a title. So let's dream. And I have strange the dreamer, which I actually read in January. So I might have done that one on purpose. That one might have been on purpose because it actually is in the month that it was in. But either way, we did that one. Fantastic. Let's check that one off. This one's going to be a little harder uh, because it is a color. So basically, we're just going to have to look through here and see what we have that had a color in it. Uh, Devouring Gray also read that in the month it was supposed to be in. So was that one also on purpose? Possibly. What else do we got? Do we have more than one? Lost Book of the White. I'm probably scroll scrolling by some and you guys are like, hey, you're missing it. It's fine. Uh, All Boys Aren't Blue. I mean, so clearly... There's three. I definitely hit this challenge as well. In March, it was the word time. So let's bring back our find function. And this is how you lose the time war. Fantastic. Uh, when did I actually read that? Did I read that in the month of March? Definitely not. So that one was not on purpose. That one was just an extra fun time for me. So, okay. Yes. This next one, super easy. Uh, in April, it was space or galaxy terms, and the very first book I read was Moonstruck, so we definitely got that one under control. Also, Other Earth, which is right at the beginning. I mean, okay, we hit space and galaxy terms. Uh, let's see. I surely have read something with star in it. Name of the star. Um, what else? Star Daughter by Shweta Takrar, which you can't see because it's right there. We got some stars. Is there any other moon or just the one? Just the one moon. Um, star, moon, sky. Huh? Oh, the stone sky, which again is underneath my face. So you can't see it. So yes, plenty of space and galaxy terms. Fantastic. Uh, now we are at uh, the word house or home. So let's see. House. House of leaves. Fantastic. Done. Also, also... Uh, House of Hollow, <laughs> also Ninth House, which actually was a DNF, so that one doesn't really count. The Haunting of Ashburn House, <laughs> oh, and then the ones that I, it's also pulling up, uh, Penguin Random House, so that's not it. Uh, Light House Witches, and then a couple more Penguin Random House. So like five of the word house, what about the word oh, zero? I'm doing great. Like for not even trying, I'm doing amazing. A name or a title, surely. Felix Ever After, done. Uh, Strange the Dreamer, his name's Laszlo Strange, done. 
um let's see goddess would technically be like a title um amelia unabridged thirsty the little prince like i got that one on lock did i have any of those in june let's scroll over to june itself which i need to actually look at to get some more clarity here did i read any that are titles or names uh geraldine's alley so yeah killing it doing great all right that's half the year that's half the year like without even trying with half, half that's fantastic next is also a verb and july's was just the word last which i obviously can't spell um so we have the last of august which i didn't actually read that was a dnf so that doesn't count and then scholastic Ooh, so just that one Ooh, i might have missed last does it have to be last or can it be like end or let me check my references here okay according to my research it does have to be like the word last so technically i failed that one that one's a fail i did not have one with the word last in it so all right moving on to a time of the day time of day let's see what we got here boom mischief night all right that's the time of the day night is a time of the day next is the word dark darker shade of magic totally count that next elements hmm so do we consider spirit an element earth fire air water witch shadow you know what i bet i read this year i bet you i read wind witch bet you did Wind witch uh fire did i read anything fiery source fire books water waterfall excellent air so water fall and wind witch counting it uh, November is the word lost. Lost Book of the White. Fantastic. Anything else? Lost in the Neverwoods. That's Sue. So, yes. And then for December, it's a date, month, or a season. And let's see. Day, a month, or a season. Winter counts. That's a season, and it counts. And I read it. So that's also a yes. Where we're at with that is without trying, without really trying, because it looks like the first couple of months I did try, but then after that, not so much. Without really trying, it looks like I was able to hit 11 of the 12 buzzwords and some of them multiple times. Feeling pretty good about that. Like I said, this was more of like a to prove the point that a buzzword is a buzzword for a reason and that they are used in a lot of books. Um, clearly because I was reading without really trying to hit the words and I was hitting them sometimes multiple times. I feel like proving the point. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, including the rest of Advent, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.